Joining us is Richard Reeves here, uh, radio talk show host, uh, all around uh, technology uh, expert here that helps us from around on the road and things. And uh, you know, he sort of texted me last night going, we did it, we did it. We beat Dewhurst, the CIA, worked with Klaus Barbie, proud of that. Klaus Barbie, folks, the top Nazi down in South America. Uh, all of this stuff, I've been around a lot of people and I'm physically not recoil out of fear. It's, it's, it, he is just scary. David Dewhurst up close looks like one of the scariest people I've ever been around. He looks like a vampire. I mean, he's ready for central casting for a, re, I mean, a vampire. Uh, and I, I've bullhorned him. I've been in his face. I mean, he is Creepville. Creepville. Super evil. And he's the guy that killed the TSA deal and then tried to act like he didn't. Uh, big globalist, uh, not his own businessman, given contracts by the CIA and government for his energy company. Total front. Uh, and uh, Mr. Cruz beat him yesterday. And he even got up there and gave a, 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 a winning speech, a, you know, a victory speech, thinking, I guess, the black boxes would kick in. And the message is, and I heard this even on local radio, they were covering polls yesterday on 590. All the callers and the polls show it was TSA. Unanimous legislature in the House says no more groping, we're going to enforce existing laws. He killed it. And I say we get rid of the Speaker of the House as well, all of them. And so that's a message, and it's happening all over the country. All these Republicans go on Fox News and say, ban all Simeonos. It's because they're all scared. They love this Republican-Democrat game of acting like they're fighting with each other. It's over, okay? I got to say, the Tea Party is actually delivering in many levels. Richard Reeves, you're here with us. Tell us, because you followed this very, very closely. They've rejected the... Uh, carbon tax, garbage, transportation tax in Georgia and Atlanta that was to raise tens of billions to take over everybody's life and smart grow them. I mean, there's just 19 billion just got cut. A lot of exciting things are happening all over the country. Uh, the senator, Republican trash and Democratic trash are being thrown out, whether it's Specter or Luger. I mean, that's why they're scared right now and showing everybody what they are, pieces of trash. There's nothing I like to see better than incumbents being fired, establishment candidates not being elected. Alex, this is an incremental victory, albeit an incremental victory, but let's think about the methodology of the New World Order. One of their number one tools to get this country where they've gotten us over the last 100 plus years is incrementalism. And here we do have to celebrate this incremental victory against the New World Order. But yeah, because Cruz at least sounds like Alex Jones. You've been to his speeches. I've been to, I've been to two. We will Ted defeat Cruz. the CFR Vipers. And I've all. been to two Ted Cruz speeches. We had one at the Capitol two or three months ago. We went down there and reported on it uh, when Rand Paul and Ron Paul spoke there. And then I was at the Texas State Convention, folks. I was a Republican delegate out of my precinct, out of my uh, senatorial district, and I went to the Texas State Convention back uh, in early June. And I got to tell you, a lot of the Tea Party folks are 80, 90 percent awake. And then there's the Republican Party right now is made up of three factions. You've got the old establishment GOP faction. You've got the Tea Party faction that still wants to blow up stuff. And then you've got the Patriots faction. So there's a, a, a three-way faction going on there. So Right now, at least, we may not be able to deliver a majority vote <coughs> to be able to win uh, on certain races with a full-blown Patriot candidate, but we definitely have the proof now that we are at least big enough and bad enough to be a swing vote in this situation. And here are the results right here uh, with Cruz, 56, well, 57% roughly, and David Dewhurst, 43%. And it was like you said earlier, they, the Ted Cruz probably ended up winning with a 30% margin because the word is out that David Dewhurst is exactly, you know, did exactly what you said about this anti-TSA legislation that we had in 2011, that you spearheaded that, folks. A lot Our listeners did, and Rick right. Perry got destroyed for his Gardasil thing, lying and saying girls had to take a deadly vaccine that killed a bunch of them. Well, plus Rick Perry was behind the scenes in killing that anti-TSA legislation. A lot of the new listeners are not going to know exactly what happened there in the Texas State Legislature in 2011, back in uh, May 2011, June 2011. Alex and the listeners here locally in Austin and in Texas and nationwide. We stormed the Capitol twice. We stormed the Capitol twice. By the way, we didn't ask permission. We stormed the Capitol. Right. We stormed the Capitol. I'm sure you can find YouTubes on the uh, YouTube videos of that. Uh, Alex Jones storms Capitol with the crowd that went down there. We did. We went down there, stormed the Capitol. We had a unanimous House of the state of Texas ready to vote for a... Tree. Yeah, hey, libertarians, stop asking for permits. Right, I mean... Okay, we own this country, it's ours. You're disgraceful, all you locals that get permits. Well, 
I tell you, I, I think less of them are going to be doing. I think we're just going to be doing more of what we did uh, with storming the Capitol. Folks, we went down there. We had a unanimous Texas State House ready to pass a true anti-TSA legislative They passed it unanimously. Right. And then uh, the Senate, I think there was only two. And then Turdhurst killed it. Uh, Dewhurst and Perry both combined uh, to work against that legislation. And I'll tell you, one thing that happened at the Texas State Convention is Ted Cruz got out there and sounded, sounded almost like Alex Jones. So at the very least, you know, there are some questionable associations in Ted Cruz's background. No question about it. Yeah, the wife was CFR. We're going to have to see what happens there. But I'll tell you what, he's out there actually waking people up and educating people when he's talking. So he might No, I, I got to say this. I, more and more, I, I, I think some of the strategies of campaign for liberty and Rand Paul, because I just got mad early on. But I actually think in a way, I'm starting to see these races, it looks like we're taking over. Well, I think it might be actually what they said. I, we're, I mean, again, I, I, I never say I'm that smart. I, you know. Well, here's what I'd say about David Dewhurst is, is if he got into the U.S. Senate from, Tex from Texas, he at each and every opportunity would choose death to the Constitution. Let me tell you something. I physically, I told you this in the Capitol. I've, met, I've been around him before. That guy is scary. I mean, let me tell you, I mean, I got chills when he'd look in my eyes. Well, he showed his true colors on the TSA issue, and the Texans knew about it. They were not fooled. Well, I'm just telling you, my gut, very few people, like, my, you know, Danger Will Robinson, when that guy looks at you, that guy's super evil. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. By the way, we had hundreds and hundreds of entries in phase two of the Obama dictator contest. It made local news. People did airplane banner pulls. And it took us... Well, the last month since the contest closed, arguing and debating and just to watch hundreds of videos. Great job, all of you. I will announce at the end of the show today the winner, $10,000. Uh, and then on the nightly news uh, tomorrow, I'm going to play clips from the top four or five, and I want to make some prizes for them as well, but we're out of our budget. Uh, I, it's hard. I mean, first place and second place are about one degree apart, but... I'll announce at the end of the uh, transmission in about an hour, five minutes from now. Uh, going back to Richard Reeves briefly. Richard, all over the country, we're seeing Luger, uh, Specter, Republican, Democrat. They're all running. I mean, they're in trouble. People are getting rid of them, even with electronic fraud. The, the, the landslides are so big, they're not in, uh, you know, able to cheat them. And this is why they're panicking and having all the neocons call to ban guns now. And they're calling to ban them. They got legislation introduced to register you when you get ammo and ban semi-autos and all clips above 10 mags. I mean, we're in trouble. Again, we're winning, but we're in trouble because the crooks are still in control. So people have to understand we're in the fight of our lives. We're in the fight. We're not broke back in the ditch. We can still beat these people, but it's going to take deciding we're going to beat them. It's going to take getting angry. But I see the signs of that. I mean, Richard... Ten years ago, people would make fun of me walking down the street, some of them. Now, that never happens. And I was with you ten years ago seeing that happen. Exactly. Uh, so They're not they're, making fun now. Exactly. They're not making fun. What do you make of Dewhurst thinking that he'd won? Well, I think he was just counting on the black box to kick in. Because uh, he was claiming that, you know, he actually said, well, the people of Texas, the people of Texas have chosen a... A true patriot constitutionalist, somebody that really uh, is going to fight the federal government, et cetera, et cetera, somebody that's not an establishment candidate. And, you know, as if he'd won, it was just crazy. Uh, I don't know if that 
video is still up or not. And notice he's, he's now anti-establishment. When people hear you work for the Cocaine Importation Agency with Klaus Barbie, he finally started talking about his Air Force record and working for the CIA. People don't like hearing that. They know the CIA works for foreign banks now. More and more, exactly. They're learning that. Uh, so it's, that's what is very encouraging of the, about this. The incrementalism is starting to shift the other way. I tell you, this morning I was happy. I was smiling because I can say at least we've got a metric here that shows that we're doing some serious damage to the new world. But what do they do when that happens? They come out with TV shows that the militias are going to blow up police stations like ABC's doing, and then they're going to blow up police stations and blame it on us. So get ready for all Hades to break loose. They're going to stage terror attacks and blame it on us. Well, the Colorado shooter thing was a perfect example, and you were pointing it out just the other day on your show saying, look, what did the American people do in response to the Colorado shooter? Did they go beg for anti-gun legislation? Heck no. They went out and bought more guns. I got to give credit to Obama for one thing, at least one thing, that he has been the best gun salesman in history. Thank you, Obama. Well, yeah, they keep misgaging us. Just because they got a bunch of brain-damaged people watching TV, they aren't in the game. We probably got 100 million people that are pretty much woke up now. The globalists better watch their butt. And that's just it. We've got maybe 100 million people that are woke up. Now, if they'll just engage, if they'll just... That's right. If they'll just talk to one person, it isn't hard to beat these little chicken neck commie globalists. That's right. Only 8.5% 8 8 of the people in Texas voted in this primary runoff. Folks, we need to double... Absolutely. Let me do a 20-second plug for InfoWarsTeam.com. We're hooked into the longevity computers. They're never down. They were down yesterday when we did that plug for the new Pollen Burst Plus berry flavor. You want to support us and get the best vitamin mineral products anywhere. InfoWarsTeam.com. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.